One thing I find absolutely baffling about Squarespace's UI is that the difference or the lack of difference between the links and the folder links in the header nav. So users won't know until they hover over what is just one link and what is a folder or a drop down menu. So to get around this, what we need to do is add some sort of differentiator. And the thing that differentiates the links from the drop down menus that I have found works best is a simple drop down arrow. So this is how to add that arrow to your folders on Squarespace. First of all, we want to go to our CSS. So design and custom CSS. Then if we go down, I'll show you the code. So this I've labeled add arrows to drop down and you can see our folder has a drop down here. <laughs> Let me get rid of this case. So this is from another video. Let me just hide this because that's, uh, that's quite distracting. Okay, no more, no more meme guy. So we go down and you can see we've already got the arrow in the folder now if we get rid you can see the arrow goes and it's not clear that this is a folder other than the fact that i've called it folder so we pop that code back in and i'll talk you through what um what we're actually doing here so squarespace ui font i actually found this trick in the forums what we're referencing here is part of that fonts alphabet which is this pointing down arrow so what we're essentially doing is saying after the link that is the header navigation folder title, aka where it says folder, we want to append this down arrow after. So that's why we've got colon after. If we were to put colon before, it would sit before. But obviously we don't really want that. We want after. So that is what that means. And then the content essentially means what actually is said. So if I was to just put A, it would say A but it would be in this Squarespace UI font. So it's important that we reference a number here because this is for symbols, but it's important that we reference the correct thing. So this is in reference to a symbol. If I were to change it to eight, it would change to another arrow. So these are all part of a certain set of symbols from the UI font. So hopefully that's clear. That's our content. And this is our font family that we need to reference. Then we've got position relative. So this allows us to place the arrow exactly where we want. If it wasn't relative, we'd have no control over where to place it. So if we take this here, you can see from the top, we want it to be two pixels down, or this is how I've positioned it. So if we went back to zero pixels where it was its default, it looks like it's set too high. And if we go five pixels, it's too long. So this is kind of our Goldilocks zone. I'm not sure why I had transition in there. I think that's from a previous code. Then we go down to the now for the title itself. So strangely, when we add this in, it makes the title itself sit lower than everything in, else in the navigation, which obviously we can't have. So what I did was I targeted the actual folder itself or the folder title, and I matched the margin to the top with the top from the arrow, just to see what that did. And that seems to line them up. Now you can experiment with px you can experiment with rem you can do whatever you want the minus 2px seems to work for me to recap what you want to do is reference the ui font you want to reference the correct symbol position relative place the arrow two pixels from the top and then you want to target the nav folder title and just move that up a tad and this code as usual will be in a blog post in the description if you did find it useful please make sure to leave a like Hit subscribe and check out all of the other resources in the description below.